So a few months ago, um, I wanted to be able to use uh, X resources, uh, my X resources file to configure D menu colors and such. So naturally, I came over here and downloaded this X resources patch. And um, if you apply it, uh, let's just use a uh, patch command to apply it. Um, you'll see that, well, you know, it applies perfectly fine here, where you load XP sources, it builds perfectly fine, as soon as you run it, it immediately set faults. Um, so I, I guess the person who made this patch just didn't even test it before, uh, uploading it to the website, but, uh, and I guess it got past them because it builds perfectly fine, but it doesn't run. So, I figure in this video, uh, I'll show how I went about fixing the, the patch, because, you know, it's a fairly small patch, it's pretty straightforward. Um, so, let's get started. Uh, first thing, uh, you might notice is it's called right at the beginning and it, it actually took me a few minutes to realize this but um, it's actually trying to access draw uh, draws display attribute before draw is even initialized because draw is initialized all the way down here and we're trying to read it all the way up here so first thing we can do is move this down here and uh, see what happens. Right now, it no longer crashes. And you can see it pops up this time. Um, and it's using the colors in my extra resources file. As you can see, those were default colors. Um, but you can still make some improvements to this, to, to the patch in general. We come back up to where it uh, loads the X resources file. One thing you can do immediately is change this name, because all the other names are either single words or just lowercase two words back to back, uh, like append item, calc offsets. So let's change. Um, what is it? Read X resources to read X resources. Uh, and there we go. We, it's named better now. Um, obviously, it's not really going to change functionality, but when reading it, it's just nice to have uh, consistent naming. Next thing. Uh, you can see when you're checking uh, X resource or checking for a particular resource, it's checking if this value is equal to true, which is obviously redundant. You know, that's the first thing you learn in some programming class. Don't check if something is equal to true. Just use it as a condition. We can get rid of that. Um, I'll throw these. And uh, make sure it still compiles. Sorry, make sure it still runs. Obviously, it still compiles. And there we go. It still works. So these are the main issues with that resources patch. Uh, so it will work perfectly fine now, but. There is still one more change that would be nice to make. Actually, not nice to make, it's, it's the correct way to write C code. You can see it is um, every time it finds a resource, it loads it using str dupe. And str dupe actually uses malloc to uh, 
allocate new memory to hold the uh, whatever this address points to. So we're setting or allocating memory for this, but if we find if we look for occurrences of free, these are the only occurrences of free, so it's not even creating anything. Um, so that's an issue. Let's go ahead and set it up so that uh, this these things will get freed uh, at the end. But this is we, we can't just immediately go and say you know free Fox Zero, free all of these uh, guys because initially it's uh, the pointer inside font zero is not malloc. It's just something uh, sitting on the stack. So we have to come up with some way uh, to either check if uh, font zero is malloc, uh, which is, I guess you could just use some sort of global flag or something to do that, but uh, the way I used and I thought was somewhat more elegant. Um, maybe not the most elegant way to do it, but it's the most elegant way that I could think of. Um, is to instead just allocate a, regardless of whether we're loading from X resources or not, and just copy the default value into that allocated piece of memory. So, how do we do this? Uh, well, if this is uh, found in the X resource file, obviously it will run this piece of code. But you can also get it to, uh, if it's not found, you can say, you can set uh, this equal to that. Alright, so now it will allocate a new piece of memory. Uh, on the heap with the value of fonts you're already in it. So regardless, uh, we'll just free uh, some piece of, so some region on the heap at the end, and we don't have to worry about whether it has uh, been allocated, because we know it is. So we can copy this to the next ones. Um, Another bug I guess that I found with this is when you're setting D menu background, it um the default for some reason it sets scheme cell instead of scheme one, so this fixes that issue as well I guess. So now we are allocating new memory for this. Uh, now we have to go and free it. So let's find the last place this box uh, is used. And I guess we can do the uh, Vim thing, which is actually I think this last one is the Yeah. So fonts is a single word. Uh, it's not just drop fonts still as well. So you can see this is the last place it's really needed, so right after uh, this runs, we can just do three from 
sense is zero. The sense is valid for memory. You don't have to worry about whether uh, whether it is actually valid for memory or not. Um, and then for the colors, we can go see where the colors are last used. And it's actually here. So we can just iterate over the categories again, except we only have to do it in the first two categories, so we can do JSF and scheme out, then uh, scheme form and scheme cell come before scheme out, just like this for those guys. Um, and scheme, sorry, uh, for i is zero, i is less than uh, two. I guess because they the foreground and the background, which are two uh, color values for each color. Um, and then you can just see three colors. Uh, J, uh. So let's see what this goes. Okay, so. Yeah, I forgot a parenthesis or a colon here and the S here, so let's go fix that. Builds. Um, no, that, okay. This is bears or warnings and notes for this build. So obviously there will be some issues with um, constant since we're modifying the value inside the font array, which is declared constant inside config dot So if you want to get rid of the warnings, you can just get rid of this. Constant qualifier and uh, a lot of these actually are also good with constant garbage. And uh, you can see most of these go away. Um, and then, since you know the draw functions take constant char uh, pointers. Or pointers to constant char pointers. Um, we'll get these errors now. So again, if you want to get rid of those, you can um, pass these to uh, constant char pointers. And again, here, what line was that? Uh, this is six, okay. And and we can see all of our extra errors and warnings are gone. These just come with the default uh, build of D menu. So now we can test this out. And you can see a menu appears up here. It works perfectly. Um, so yeah, now I can go and submit this uh, to the Suckless website, and Suckless website will have an X resources patch that actually works. Uh, all right, that's all I got.